What you watch? What's up, guys? What you watch? We're back with another episode. What you watch? Let's roll. Tune in. Welcome to Blessed Throw Cooks. Today we are going to be making this delicious tamale pie. Go ahead and like and subscribe, then sit back and enjoy the video. Okay, guys, so I'm using a pound of ground beef today, and I've already started cooking it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in a quarter of a green bell pepper. I've already diced it up. I'm putting that in to let it cook with my ground beef. And I'm also going to add in some garlic powder. I love garlic. Stir that up. And I'm going to add in some onion powder. I added about a tablespoon of each. And you can imagine how wonderful it smells. What you watch? We're doing a quick tamale pie. The kids are on their way home from school. They have a long, hard day, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this meal together for them so they can have some yummy, delicious dish to eat when they get in. I'm gonna go ahead and drain some of this fat off my meat, and I'll be back. Today I'm using taco season. And I'm actually using the less sodium one. It depends on your salt palette. You don't have to use the less sodium one. You can use the full sodium one. You can use the hot, the mild, the spicy, whatever you and your family like. I'm gonna go ahead and finish browning this. I'm adding in one third of a cup of water. Then I'm gonna mix it all together. And I'm gonna let this simmer for about seven minutes. And while my meat is simmering, I'm gonna go ahead and get my cornbread mixture together. Okay, y'all, so we over here mixing up our cornbread. We have Jiffy today. We are using two boxes of Jiffy. And I have two large eggs in here and some milk. The box calls for one third cup per box. We're not gonna use that much. We're actually gonna use enough to make it good and moist because we are adding a can of cream corn. The cream corn is optional. Some people say they don't like cream corn. So if you don't like cream corn, just omit that and follow the directions on your Jiffy Mix. I'm gonna add in an entire can of cream corn. Now I'm adding in about a tablespoon of garlic powder. Now I'm gonna mix all of that in until it's well combined. I have me a nine by 13 baking dish. I have sprayed it with nonstick spray and I'm gonna go ahead and add in half of my cornbread mixture to the bottom of the dish. If you wanna make this a little more spicy, you can always add some jalapenos in your cornbread mixture. I add some in sometimes and it also adds that good jalapeno flavor because we know jalapenos are full of yummy deliciousness. Now I'm putting some shredded cheese on. I am using a Mexican cheese blend. I'm going to use about a half a cup of that on this layer. And then after I add my cheese on, I'm going to go ahead and add my delicious meat mixture. I'm covering up this entire layer with all of my meat mixture. And then once I get the meat on, I'm gonna go back in and add some more cheese. This is gonna be full of cheesy, good, yummy deliciousness. Now, if you want to, you can add just some pepper jack cheese. That'll add some spice to it and some more flavor. Use the cheese that you prefer. I'm still using a Mexican cheese blend. Now that I'm finished with my second layer of cheese, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my cornbread mixture on top of this. And guess what I'm putting on top of this layer? More cheese. What you watching? What you watching? 
What you watching? What you watching? What you watching? Bless roll. Bless roll. Show. I have my oven preheated to 350. I'm going to put this on the middle rack in the oven for about 30 minutes. And the cheese is going to turn off beautiful golden brown. And it's going to be full of cheesy, yummy deliciousness on the inside. Look at the finished product. Look at how good this looks. Doesn't this look so delicious? Oh my goodness, it looks so good. But I'm gonna put some toppings on it, y'all. I'm gonna ready to plate this up and I'm getting ready to show you how good this looks. This tastes good just like this, but you can put toppings on it. Oh my goodness. Just stay tuned. Look at all this yummy deliciousness. Here we go, y'all. Look at this. I put some cilantro, some green onions, some jalapenos, diced tomatoes, and sour cream on top of the tamale pie. You talking about something good? Oh, my goodness. Try this and come back and let me know how you like it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a blessed and beautiful day. And remember to always Put God first in everything that you do. And shout out to the subscriber who left me a tip on adding these yummy deliciousness to my tamale pie. Join me next time on Blessed Row Cooks where we are cooking up some yummy deliciousness in every video. Turn on your TV screen. Turn on your phone. Turn on your laptop. We watching Blessed Row. Let's roll.